everyone thanks for joining me on my life on a hill my name is tracy and this is my patreon.com slash nail room talk account um that you see here in the image please go ahead and support me there so today i am going to be mixing um, barbicide to show you how to do it um based on how we um i guess we we're taught in school for um nail school and also for state board approval so i bought the barbicide right there from Amazon and the container as well with the little crystal knob and again it's all um, I am doing this just for a video my um, implements are clean so but make sure you always whatever you do you wear gloves because you know these are chemicals and after a while you will um, start getting contact dermatitis and I've experienced that before and it's not nice and again here's my container that I bought from Amazon with the beautiful crystal on top and my little but barbicide um for for me to go ahead and mix that so um for state board it says one fourth um of barbicide to i'm sorry i'm trying to get the glare so you could see exactly that i'm using one fourth and um to four cups of cold water so from youtube that i've googled it um so what i'm going to do here is because i don't have like you um cups that i want to throw away um i am going to go ahead and put the one fourth of um, water in there just to have a me use it for a measurement for when I do the barbicide directly into the I didn't want to pour that into my one fourth cup because I use that to cook with and I don't want to mix the two I will go ahead and mix it in there and see if it it you know it's the same height as the one as the water next to it so I'm just using a cup of water for like a measurement um, for the barbicide and for the right cup and I'll go ahead and add a little bit and it's okay if you have a little extra so um, again um, so your barbicide is supposed to be on your sink in your salon but um, I don't have a salon I do mainly you know see um, because of the little bubbles and the little top it's a look like it a little bit over but it's pretty much right on point in terms of the, the one fourth of the water um, it matches and I will another way that I saw to do it is to make sure that you you could use a little um, cap and make it a six and a little bit over so almost seven of the caps in there so um the videos that i've seen on youtube just show you to um put the four cups of water then add the barbicide in my notes from school it says add water last and so i went ahead and put in the seven equal, which equal the one fourth cup of um, barbicide to and make sure your water is cold and i'm making sure right here that it's cold and the four cups of water into the um, container and so as you know again your barber is supposed to be in your sink and also all your implements are supposed to be enclosed along with your napkins and, and paper towels and stuff like that the blue is supposed to be a, a darker blue and the barbicide container should last about a year but if you use it all the time and you notice that it's getting light you must change it so um my implements is already clean but i'm just doing for the video where i put them in a cup of soapy water and i will wash them and then dry them with um a napkin so after you're done using your implements from a client you go ahead and wash them over the sink with soap and water and then when um, you're done washing them you dry them dry and then you go ahead and put them in your barber um, mixture of barbicide and for um 10 minutes um not less than 10 minutes so um but i'll show you um when i do that process i'm just washing out the container and because i will throw away the cup um to you know i don't want to um use my my um cups and stuff that i use on a regular basis for this i just not going to do that so i'm drying off all my implements and again my implements are clean i'm just doing it for video sake and then when you store your implements make sure that they are stored in a um in a closed container um it cannot be open on your desk you know um things of that um nature so i'm getting ready to put my implements inside the mixture of barbicide but i want to make sure that they're all dry it's not contaminated with any soap or anything like that i don't want to wipe them down accurately and make sure um that they're fit to go in the mixture which i'll be doing right there and um again make sure that it sits for 10 minutes 
um, at least 10 minutes before you take them out. Um, so again, the ratio is four cups of water to one fourth cup of barbicide and it's supposed to be a dark blue. Again, once the blue is light, it's time to get rid of it. So I'm setting my timer for 10 minutes and my silly watch is acting crazy. <laughs> and um, the cost of the barbicide normally runs like from 30 to 35 dollars for 64 ounce. I forgot how much I paid for this one because again, it was from Amazon. So, um, you know, just shop around and make sure you get, um, you know, your money's worth. And I'll be back after the 10 minutes. And here I am, four seconds left. A three, two, one, oh silly. My silly watch is telling me I need to do something and it's done. Timer down. I will take it out of the barbicide mixture and then again, put it back into another cup with soap, which I already mixed there with soap and water and washed them off, wiped it down, wipe it down and put it back in a closed container for when it, my next client is coming, which is me. <laughs> Anyways, again, in cases like this, if you need goggles, um, definitely gloves, all that stuff, you know, um, make, try and make sure you have when you deal with chemicals if you need to. And um, again, make sure it's submerged, completely submerged into the um, barbicide mixture. All the tools are submerged inside and nothing's hanging out. The container doesn't close because the, if you're a barber, the, like the scissors are hanging out. No, it has to be submerged inside. And um, Again, make sure that you have everything after you're done rinsing and drying off in a closed container for a new client. And if you um, if you would like, you could also take the same barbicide and put it into a spray bottle in order to clean off your desk and like your little um, the little rest for your hand, things like that. Um, and you know, just be safe when you're using chemicals. And I hope this helped. Um, it's it's a must um even if you're working on on regular cli um, clients that you know you should have the mixture done and again make sure it's by your sink and your sink has to be um inside your salon so anyways guys so this is the mixture again and that's how much is left from the original um when i bought it so it's, it's you don't really use that lot a lot of it and again if you don't use it all the time it could last a long time i hope this video was helpful um please don't forget to subscribe to my life on a hill and also my tiktok account is my life on a hill take care bye bye now be kind